some plants right here. What? It was Animal Crossing Pocket Camp begging me to come back, but the answer is no. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything else to do, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's my birthday, it's my rules. <laughs> don't ask me why that gate is not exactly the same color. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna add it to the mini list of questions I have for EA. <laughs> That's just one of them. Hey y'all, today is my birthday. Not when I'm recording this, but when you're watching it, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And to celebrate, I'm gonna torture myself. <laughs> I know you guys really like when I do these videos because everyone can have this. If you have The Sims 4, you can download this. I'm just gonna be building a base game home. Sometimes I like to do this because I feel like it's not as stressful because there isn't as much to choose from. Like sometimes I complain that there's not enough to choose from. And then sometimes I complain that there's too much to choose from. So like, I just don't know what I want anymore but I do know that when I build a base game house generally I feel less stressed out so maybe it's not torture maybe it's a blessing <gasps> happy birthday to me <laughs> so to save myself a little bit of grief I have went ahead and built a shell of a house that we are going to be using for today so I already have it sorted by base game so we're gonna start with doors and windows and all that good stuff it should be great time. I like this door, but I feel like it's just too fancy. I'm not crazy about really any of the doors, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. And because I kind of like the color schemes, there's like a nice dark brown, there's a black, there's a white. I mean, it's like pretty simple. They have these as well, which I, I'm not. Actually, wait, this one's kind of cool. I don't know what color scheme I'm going for yet. I might go with a brown. This could be cool. This could be cool. Let's just trust the process. Oh, wait, what? They have sliding doors? I didn't realize we had sliding doors in the base game. <laughs> Why is this one so short? It's like me as a door. I don't know if that's a good idea for a front door. I'm just gonna stick with what I had. All right, now for windows. I actually prefer doing base game windows on these houses because there's just not that many to choose from, which means I don't have to just scroll through all of my options and try to see what looks good. I can just pick one and go. It's actually kind of nice. I usually go with this one. There is also these windows. Maybe I should change the color of them to brown as well. Actually, that's kind of cute. I don't know, I'm gonna go with these for now. I always go for these. I know I'm a creature of habit, but you know, what are you gonna do? The last time I did this, we didn't have the window and door update. So everything was on a, a very big grid and now it's not, which is kind of nice. And then for at the top here, cause I feel like it needs something I can put maybe that now. Wait, there's a there's one that I really like. I like this one a lot, but I also like this one and it matches. You love to see it, cute. Or, okay, no, not that one. That one's way too big. Do I go for this, this little dude? Eh, now I've second guessed myself. No, <laughs> now I'm gonna be here all day. Does does anyone build houses in The Sims and just like click and go and they're just happy with it? Because I just cannot do it. Please let me know if you have that ability because my God, I'm jealous if you do. Now I feel like I don't like it. What's, you know what? I'm just gonna leave a blank. Forget it. You're canceled. You're done. Thank God the base game came with these. What in the world would I do without them? Oh my God. I love the way they look so much. Okay, I have officially managed to put these window boxes on every single window. I feel like maybe I shouldn't put them on these because that's just like a bit excessive, but they're on every other window and I'm happy with that. I know in my previous base game build, I did these little fencing things around here and here. I think it looks similar to this. I'm sorry if I just made like the exact same house twice, my bad, but I'm gonna do it again because I really like the way it came out. So I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit, enough for us to get a small patio. I mean, really small. I might even do something like that right there, which I think looks kind of interesting. I don't know, I'm just trying to change it up. <laughs> I'm gonna get these stairs that kind of float a little bit and then hopefully I can find a fencing that I can put here that I enjoy. This is always a tricky part. I am almost tempted to do a half wall instead. Make the sides like a brown and then put some railing. I don't hate it. Oh, wait. I didn't realize that this looked as good as it did. I thought because it was a different color that it would look bad, but I actually kind of like it. Hold on. Oh, it's like a really thin wall. Oh, I really like that actually. I'm gonna get a flooring that kind of matches this. Perfect. Then what I was talking about with the little like plant area, I used this little fence, which I think is so cute. I love it. I filled in it with dirt and then I put plants here. Okay, that's filled in and then I will just put plants in there. Bushes and flowers and all sorts of good stuff. All right, so I've got those taken care of. That took me so much longer than you would ever imagine. Way too long. Now I'm gonna make like a cute little pathway from here to the sidewalk. Nice squiggly path. I think that does a lot for the landscaping just by doing that. All right, let's get some wallpaper. I'm actually gonna change the roof texture to this one. I feel like it matches a little bit better. Okay. Here's my idea. I do like a stone here and then like a white here. 
I just, um, let me try it. Let me try. I think it's something different, especially using the brown. I feel like I don't usually do that. So out of my comfort zone here. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm gonna hit that with a safe. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually, you know what I'm gonna do for realsies? I'm gonna use the sliding door in the back here. This is gonna be where the backyard starts. I'm gonna do the same thing back here. I'm literally just gonna copy myself. I'm just gonna make these trees really tiny. <laughs> okay. I have got a layout all planned out. Finally, it's a little bit weird, a little bit weird, a little closed off, but yeah, it's a little different. So we walk into the living room space. There's a bathroom here. This is gonna be a kitchen and a dining room. This is just a little open area and then it leads to the backyard. They got the stairs over here in the corner and then upstairs, master bedroom, master bathroom, bedroom, extra bath. So three bath, two bedroom. Could probably make a third bedroom, but I'm just, I'm just not going to. <laughs> Thank God my favorite light in the game came with the base game. <laughs> what would I do without you, King? I think what it is is a lot of the light Lights are default very yellowy and I'm just not really into that. You can change the color of any of the lights in live mode, but I'm not in live mode. I'm in build mode. So I just want it to look good right from the start. I am done with wallpaper and flooring. I've kept it very simple. Everything is just white downstairs. Upstairs, the rooms have different colors, but I've kept it very, very, very neutral because I know we don't have a lot to work with. So for TV stands, I sometimes like to use these like accent tables. You have some more choices. Like this one is really nice. It actually matches the coffee table that I chose. I chose green for the couch. If you hate it, take it up with someone else. <laughs> I like it. I like that color green. I'm not a huge fan of this end table though. It's so small. Oh, there's this one as well. I'm just not a big fan. Don't like it. That kind of matches the wood tone there. It's pretty close. Let's get a lamp. Ooh, am I gonna be able to find a nice painting? Ooh, you know what? I spoke too soon. There are some nice base game paintings. It's true. You know what might be even better than this though is to put a fireplace. Is it a bit weird to have a fireplace like this close? to the front door. Maybe that is weird. Is it weird? You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. It's my birthday. I can do this if I want to. Also, I'm having a birthday celebration stream on Twitch today. So if you want to come join, link will be in the description. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Come hang out, please. Anyways, back to this. Now I have to find a rug that I like. Ignore these custom ones. I'm not gonna be using anything custom. It's all base game. I'm gonna scoot this table back because I realize you walk into a table. <laughs> I've actually changed this up a little bit. I've moved everything here. So now you walk into the back of the couch. I didn't really make any of this very seamless, but I feel like it's better than running into a table. And now I have the option to put like a plant in the corner and stuff, some fun things over here. If I move the door over there, I get a little bit more room, which might be good because I feel like we were lacking space a little bit there. I'll never forgive EA for making this cute lamp so short. Why did they do that? I'm gonna move this plant over here. I think I'm gonna add like a little chair or something right here. I'll just, I'm still so mad. That lamp is so cute and they just destroyed it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a little bit creative because I don't know what to put here. <laughs> I feel like a chair looked weird. How about the shy little gnome? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna put like a little place to put your hat over there. And then on the other side, I'm gonna put a painting. <laughs> I still need a rug though. I never settled on a rug. Oh, you know what? I think that looks way better. On the table, I'll just put a little bit of a plant situation. I'm gonna change that to white. And I think I'm done with the living room. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I think that's all I really can do. Moving on to the kitchen. I don't very frequently use this cabinet, but the, the countertop is like marble, which is pretty fancy. I didn't realize it got that fancy. So we're gonna put the oven in the middle and I'm gonna put an island in the middle of this. Refrigerator, oven, sink right in front of the window which I love. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. You know what I never put in my Sims houses is dishwashers. I just overlook them every single time. I'm gonna put it in the island so it's kind of hidden. I'm gonna put some bar stools down and then this is gonna be a dining room. I've kind of been enjoying this like open kitchen dining room thing lately so that's what I'm gonna go with. We're over here talking about kitchens and suddenly I am starving. Okay this looks very southern but I kind of like it. Also this window is bothering me. I need to move it. There we go. I do kind of feel like I should give them curtains. There's actually no windows in the living room at all. I probably could have done this as the living room instead, but I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I didn't think that through and here we are. It's too late now. I'm definitely not going back to change
change that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a microwave over in the corner. And I think this kitchen looks really cute. Now it just needs some artwork to be complete. Actually, I've just put these two paintings over here and I think I'm done. <laughs> I might put a plant in the corner, but that's it, I'm done. There we go, done. All right, moving on. So this is kind of like a miscellaneous room, really. It just is leading to the outside. So this would be a good place for like a desk and a computer. I'm gonna put the little bulletin thing above it. It might also be a good spot. Oh my God, this is perfect. Oh no, don't tell me. They didn't put aquariums in until later. I was gonna put an aquarium right there. It was gonna be amazing. This is all I have. Are you kidding me? I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. All right, maybe I'll put this here instead. This is a really cute love seat. That does not come with a matching couch, just in case you're wondering. I'm gonna clear that up for you right now. There's a painting above it right there. I think we can add like some plants right here. What? It was Animal Crossing Pocket Camp begging me to come back, but the answer is no. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some plants right there, pretty easy. I'm gonna put a little welcome mat thing right in front of this, because I mean, if you're coming out from the backyard, your feet are gonna be like dusty, crusty, and musty. You might as well wipe them down. Actually, I can fit a chess table right here, shockingly. So that's what I'm gonna do instead. <laughs> there we go, we have a chess table, and I'm pretty sure, okay, we can fit one thing in this little square. I don't know what though. Oh, maybe this. It kind of looks like a plant, but it's actually a bonsai tree. Cool, all right. I could probably do, no, you know what, that's fine. Let's do the bathroom. <laughs> this is just gonna be a half bath. So I'm gonna put the toilet there and then I might go a little fancy in here. I can move the door over a smidge, put the toilet here. I'm gonna put down a sink and some kind of decoration, whatever the heck I could find in the base game. Anything. Candles. Have some toilet paper. I'll put down a towel to wipe your hands with right there. And um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. Actually, maybe I'll add a painting. I just can't stand it. There's a little butterfly one. You're done. Okay, moving on. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> In the hallway, I do have a little bit of room up here as well. It'd be really nice if I had a fish tank right now. I'm gonna put a woodworking table up here. I know you're thinking, what in the world? Why are you doing that? Well, I can't think of anything else to do, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's my birthday. It's my rules. <laughs> here, enjoy this tiny painting. Here are some more paintings to fill in the void, and a painting here to fill this void. This is so sad. There's nothing to do. Okay, let's do this bathroom first. I'm gonna put in a shower. I'm gonna put a toilet there, and then I'm gonna put a sink over here. Let's give it a mirror, and over here, I'll put the towel you need for the shower. You're gonna need it, let's be honest. And then the towel you need to wipe your hands. Some toilet paper. How about this little painting. It doesn't really fit on this wall, but it's just gonna have to work. First bedroom. Okay, so these bedrooms are pretty big. This is such an EA home. What was I thinking? Oh my god, this, be this bed matches really well, actually. All right, it needs a rug. Oh god, these rugs are... Oh no, this is really bad. They're huge. <laughs> this rug is not my first choice. I had to size it down because it was a little bit too big, but I cannot, I cannot find anything that I like more. I'm gonna put an ottoman at the end of the bed. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be fancy. I'm gonna put a dresser, and I'm gonna give them a TV, because honestly, that's kind of what my dresser looks like. You've got some perfumes and stuff, a picture of my grandparents, and then just the TV. It's a bad habit, but I, I have no intention of breaking it. <laughs> I forgot this painting was here. This thing's huge. Put a painting there. We can actually put like an easel in the corner over here. We have some room. I'll put down a mirror. Now my favorite mirror isn't in here. Rip, but we can still do something. I know this plant is technically like the new lunar year, but there are not a lot of like big plants, like tall plants. So I feel like I gotta use something. And then over here, I'm gonna put like a little calendar and I'm gonna call it for that room. Now for the master bedroom. I wanted to use this bed because I think she's fancy. All right, we'll put a painting above it. Let me get a rug. Hopefully I can find one that I like this time. I'm just gonna go with this one. I don't love it. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't have a lot of options. I actually think for once I made the bedrooms big enough. I feel like sometimes I don't make them big enough. You can get a TV too. Go for it. I don't care. I'll do like a guitar, a mic stand, uh, maybe a violin. And I think there's a painting. Oh, here we go. This painting really goes with this. This whole theme. Oh, you know what? That's kind of cute. They got like a little music corner over there. I like it. I'm gonna put this plant over here here because I'm running out of ideas. And we have a little section over here as well, which I might put a desk. I very often forget to put desks in my Sims bedrooms. I mean, I know we have one downstairs, but like I could have another one. And then above it, we have another music painting. Cute. All right. I like that. That's cute. Really simple. Straight to the point. Now for the last room, which is the master bathroom. All right. So hear me out. This is my plan. I'm going to have this
this here and then in this little section here i almost spilled my coffee oh my god i'm gonna put one of these which i love so much and i never have the room for so i'm happy to announce that it fits in this bathroom and i love it <laughs> i'm just so excited about it can give them a bath mat cute and on this wall we can put a painting oh my god it fits perfectly it's like ah uh, i love when things work out there we go oh my god yay cute all right your girl is done with the house <sighs> Now the last thing I'm gonna do before I am completely done is make a little backyard. I'm not gonna go too extravagant with this, but just a little bit, just a little. I'm gonna make a little path going out to the gate. Don't ask me why that gate is not exactly the same color. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna add it to the mini list of questions I have for EA. <laughs> That's just one of them. I'm gonna add a barbecue and a little table to eat at. And I'm pretty sure that's all I'm gonna do for the backyard. I'm just gonna leave it pretty open-ended. But there you go, I am all done. A base game home. That took much longer than expected. Whew. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.